is up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Atiyah you can call me Tia or Sunny which everyone you like girl so I am in dire need of a freaking maintenance day and that's what we're having today and it's on black history well the first day of black history month love that for me shout out to all my black women all my black men out there on the ground trying to make a, a living for your family trying to make that generational wealth happen trying to break um generational traumas like just shout out to us okay like i'm so proud of us i got something in my eye hold on trying to have a moment and like hello yeah i'm just so proud of y'all i'm so proud of us i'm so proud of myself um yeah this was not actually supposed to happen on the first day of black history month but because it is it just makes it even more special so today i am getting my facial by did this thing slide down so yeah uh i would probably consider it a spa i think and then i'm also going to get my nails done i have to let her know like i need more buy up on the ends because I'm very rough with my hands. I use my hands a lot. Stir it. This chipped. Can y'all, this trying to focus on me. This chip, my middle finger is chipped off. Oh, I'm so sad for her. I think I'm gonna get like something Valentine inspired. Um, I love hearts anyway, so it's like, mine as well, mine as well. I did get my feet done the other day. I haven't been to a salon in like two years. I don't like salons. Like, I'm sorry. I do not like them, do not recommend them, but I did get my toes done because they needed to be done. I had polish on like one or two toes and it was looking crazy. So yeah, we're just going to really get ourselves together in this vlog. I was featured on a YouTube channel. Also, I'm watching Lauren's <laughs> video right now. <laughs> But I was featured on YouTube's channel, like their official channel, under Lifestyle Vloggers. Hello, there goes me. Got me. Hi, Candace. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Alexis. Hi, Cameron. Like, ah. Get into it. Also, check out my girl Lauren. She does really, really nice vlogs. So I'm gonna finish her vlog right now. And let's go. I do see that pigmentation that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Of course, these areas are very common for um, people with more melanin, but also in general over here, just because we get sun, so much sun exposure on this side mm -hmm. of our face. I um, see that little pigmentation in this area. I see a little bit of redness across the forehead. You said I see that redness around the nose fold as well. Mm -hmm. How often do you experience that? Or is it kind of a constant? Yes, all the time. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where did you say your eczema was breaking? Do um, you see it in my right here? Oh, okay, in my mm -hmm. hairline area. In my hairline, yep. Got you. But outside of that, I would say what I'm seeing. Do you experience any oil production throughout your day? Um, my nose, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I kind of see it's like that combination skin type. And of course, there are areas where we're gonna produce a little more oil. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, I see relatively normal skin. And then, of course, with a condition like eczema, there are gonna be times where it's like, what do you mean it's normal? This is very much giving yeah, dry. Yeah, yeah. Bad 
y'all you know it's a good facial when your edges is messed up y'all she gave me some really good insight i mean guys like if you're in like the bethesda area definitely go over there i went to balu she was amazing her pressure was great um she massaged my face really good with the guasha like that girl that thing felt so good so mm. I'm gonna eat my, mm, I'm so hungry. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my jelly because I am hungry. If I will come back, I recommend it. And I would definitely come back. So I do recommend that spa. It was very cute, very aesthetically pleasing. <clears throat> you know, the girls love that. And. Uh, I feel like all, well, my technician, she was just like super informative. And I love that. Like I love learning about my skin. I love learning about products and stuff to use on my skin. Love, love, love that. Which is why I go to Yana too. Because she teaches me about my skin. Like, oh, you need to use this. Maybe you should try that. Like, yeah. Definitely getting into my anti-aging bag this year because she pushing 30. I'm like, no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Ooh, the lighting is really nice right here. I forgot to show y'all what I got from Payday. Because they have like a bunch of like really good... I always like getting my products from estheticians like they usually have higher grade products so i definitely went ahead and got something and then i just have to get this other thing she's going to send it to me it's a cream based um cleanser that will help with hydration because lately i've been like my skin is so dehydrated y'all duh i've been using the glycolic um cleanser too much it's too much for my skin so it's only be used for certain occasions. Yeah. But I got this in my hand. This is the Dr. Loretta. It's a female-owned brand. And this is the Firming Serum. <sighs> I love anything. Well, one, I wanted to get this. It also has retinol in it, which is really good for um, anti-aging. So that's one reason why I got it. And also, I just want to keep my skin supple and tight like you know i don't want to be a stickler about my skin i don't want to be anal either but i don't want to be blind to the fact that yeah girl you're getting older so like here it'd be like right up in there i can just start seeing a little something something so went ahead and got that i also got the topical eye patches too those things are fire so i might use those tonight um, and then I also got this. This is a Lotus and Hyaluronic Barrier Defense Mist. And she said I can use this for, can y'all see it? She said I can use this for um, toning and I could also use it throughout the day like just to give myself a quick refresher, hydration, you know, moment. And this one is by Pi. Oh, I should've went this way. Did I go that way? Hopefully you see it, but let me show you. Oh, well, actually, I can't really show you how it looks because it has tape on it, but just know it's cute. Everything in there was just so cute, but I'm at my next appointment. I'm about to go in in a little bit. I didn't go to the, what is it? I'm going to the beauty supply store. I didn't go to Best Buy yet, but I will be going there to pick up and send back my camera soon. My new camera! 
So it's the Fuji Film XS20, um, and it's the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. So this is the camera. Now it looks big, but I just love that it has this grip on it because the Sony didn't have that grip. But y'all, let me tell you how. Basically, I cannot return my camera, so I'm trying to decide how I want to do a giveaway with that camera. It's gonna definitely be for like content creators, of course, or and people who capture good footage for family stuff, whatever. But nonetheless, it's going to be going to someone that deserves it, someone that will enjoy it more than me. Cause if you like the footage from my last vlog, then definitely stay on the lookout for that. It's gonna be not on this platform though, it's gonna be on TikTok. Probably on TikTok and Instagram, most likely. Um, but yeah, okay, so this is the camera. Boom, this is how I be. This is how I be looking. Girl, yeah. And then this is the actual lens. And it comes with a shoulder strap. Love that. This is the lens. That's the charger. I think that's the battery. I'm about to set it up really quickly. What's this? Oh, for the power adapter, nice. Only thing with the Sony's like, that's the thing with this one, you don't get nothing. It's just the camera. No, no charger, no extra battery, no strap, like, like wrist strap, nothing. It's just literally the camera. So I do feel like for a starter camera, it's not the most um, cost effective but if you win the giveaway then it's a great starter camera but if it's not like if you're just buying the camera I don't feel like it's worth it for that much so yeah but nonetheless I'm about to eat and then we're gonna get into waxing my underarms because you got a new wax pot and it got me feeling like back in the good old days when I was at European Wax Center waxing these girls but i just got some salad from bakery craft there or something like that something like that this salad is so good and they have shrimp and they put some lemon on it Ugh. all right so this is my new wax warmer i just added some more wax into it because i was low i was waxing um jaylen last and was it last night no two days ago so i have to get me some more up in here but you can see like that is too hot. It doesn't need to be that runny, so I'm just letting it cool down a little bit, but I'm about to prep myself while that cools. It's like the instant satisfaction I get from waxing my head. Oh, it's like right here. Like I ain't gonna have no head back new. Girl, today was a good day, although it was a lot to do today and I was kind of blown that I could not freaking return that Sony but overall today was a really good day I feel like I got everything that I need to do done except for pushing up my roots and I also need to do my hair like I'm tired I'm not I'm tired of the bun I'm just tired of the bun but a bun is always like a go-to it's the good faithful like She's your go-to girl. I feel like when I wax myself, I just get instant satisfaction, like immediately. And that's why I really like waxing. It's so interesting. Like it be hair and then it's no hair. That is so interesting to me. That's why I cannot shave because it's just not the same feeling like I get from waxing. I think I just like the pain of it a little bit too. Like, if you're a girl that likes to get tattoos and stuff, then you kind of know what I mean. Um, I like a little pain. This point is so, oh my God, stripping. The guy today, he was just so nice. I don't know about y'all, but I just making up scenarios in my head and he just seemed like he was the nicest husband ever. So I saw that he was married because I saw his the ring on his finger. And then y'all, I like literally made up a whole scenario in my head. And I was like, oh, he's probably gonna go back to his wife. She probably made him some like his favorite food today. 
and he was just so nice like he explained everything to me because i want to get a new tv for my bedroom so i was like do you guys still do the mounting and he was like they do but you actually have to pay for it like it doesn't come with that package i think it's like total tech or something like that so ah shoot ah shoot that one actually hurt i just gotta do what i gotta do because i don't want like a um console joint in there i don't know why i like lovey-dovey stuff right now well i just love love like all the romantics of it all sometimes like yeah i really need to start taking the vitamin c but i cannot i don't think oh shoot hold on mm. I don't think I could ever be one of those people that take stuff just because I'm supposed to. Like, as far as taste-wise, like, it has to taste good. I cannot eat stuff, drink stuff that do not taste good. Like, I'm not going to want to do it. And I don't know how the girls, well, oh my gosh, this tastes good. It's like, are you tricking yourself? Are you trying to persuade yourself into thinking that it's good? Because I, for one, do not understand. I haven't been to the mall in a minute and I low-key want to go. I've been just purchasing stuff online because your girl, she thick. I am now realizing I'm a mid-size girl. I'm gonna put on for my mid-size girlies, you know? But I just feel like I need some, some more pieces, you know, like, nice oh my gosh i need to literally set it up for every two weeks to wax myself like just do it every two weeks bi-weekly waxes for my underarms because the way it got that long was really crazy and then i just gotta figure out how to get these little lines because this is from eczema i figure out how to lighten it i know that waxing will help lighten it up over time but Oh, you know what? I can use my little detox mask. Y'all, it is time to tackle my hair. Will you see this? I just feel like once my hair feels good, I'll feel so much better. So, let's feel better. Like the curls ain't come back up, but I mean, I did come from a weave to Damn, Daniel. a freaking bun. That is so sad. So I am literally about to uh, entangle my hair, let this mask sit in for like maybe an hour or so, cause I'm about to watch Law & Order. I have to catch on the new episode. Like, yeah. But this is the mask I'm about to use. It's from Burb. Yeah, really good. And I'm using a good chunk of this. My hair needs it so bad. I can just feel it, like right here. I tried to oil my hair too, but I mean, let's be real. It's hard to oil your hair when, oh my gosh, Cooper just came in here. But it's hard to oil your hair. Oh, oh, what? It's hard to what? It's hard to oil your hair when it's in a bun definitely focus it on my my blonde to help with the hair strands here we go here we go i'm ready let me use this too just to kind of do like a oil treatment oh or maybe i should do this and then just wash it out hmm because i have this one too by donna can't Donna's recipe, Tabitha Brown and I think her friend's brand, but I think I might just use this one because this one helps with split ends. So I think I'm gonna do that one and then wash it out. I need to get one of those hooded uh, dryers from Amazon since I don't have the old school joint like you can sit under. I need to just get something like that so 
I can sit up under some heat and really let it penetrate. Penetrate up in that thing. Some more. My mask and I'm gonna get to work on this. These tangles. Which is really good so being that I had my hair in a bun for a week. I really want to get those braids, like the straight back. I actually put three on my head and then my bonnet too. It's kind of like a hot oil treatment this is, but like not really. But I do want to show y'all what skincare I've actually recommended me because I've never heard of these braids, so... I don't know if y'all have ever heard of these brands because y'all knew about Eminence before me and I'm like, wow, why don't y'all tell me, you know? So firstly, I got this cleanser. This is the Grown Alchemist Cleanser. I'm excited to try it out tonight because I do want to cleanse my skin with it. I Yesterday I just did water because I didn't want to dry my skin out with the glycolic cleanser. Oh, and this is how it looks. I feel like this is such a cute bottle. Like I feel like this bottle is super cute. Things that I need to just keep my skin good because my skin is very thin very very thin that's why i get all like, redness and stuff like that so um let me put on my bonnet and i'm gonna go watch the rest of the water so i finished well I'm finishing up my flexi rods i'm just like making the parts disappear right now the main thing when it comes to flexi rods is so you can't see the part so that is what I'm doing now. I think either my hair broke off right here in the front or it, um, I cut it when I was cutting out my sewing. Either or, it might have been the second one. Uh, this was not my best flexi rod set. So I do have a flexi rod tutorial already up. I am done though now. I took so long. It took me three days to do my hair, like get to it because I was doing other stuff. That's why I just love when someone else can do my hair because it's quicker. But I'll be getting something done soon, like maybe braids or something. Like I feel like I did a good bit of stuff. I might, what I might do, can y'all see my hair? See, right there. But yeah, I mean my curls did come out pretty good in my opinion. This is just gonna be like something quick. I feel like and I just wanted to show y'all my new wax pack because I feel like it's more um like professional in a sense. It holds the heat better. Yeah, check out all the places that I have went to. Check out my flexi rod tutorial. That's where I sh actually show more of a demonstration of how I twirl the hair around the flexi rod. It's like even this, like even though it's not my best one, it's still good. Still pretty good. And I didn't use that many flexi rods, so I slept great last night. Yeah. So um, I love you guys. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.